Hello everyone, my name is Chao Tran and I am a web developer. Welcome to my first coding tutorial on the main stack and Nest.js in the backend. Uh, so what is Nest? Nest is a progressive Node.js framework for building efficient, reliable and scalable server-side applications such as uh, web APIs, microservices and MVC applications. Uh, the website is nestjs.com. Writing Nest.js feels like writing an Angular app. It does have the module component approach. So if you like Angular and you like that approach, uh, I think you will like Nest.js. So let's jump in the documentation. As you can see in the documentation, under the hood, Nest makes use of Express.js but it does provide compatibility with other libraries as well. This also applies to databases. Uh, we are going to use the um, MongoDB for the main stack, but it does support other databases. As far as the documentation goes, I think Nest has a really good documentation. Uh, from my personal experience, I was able to incorporate Nest.js in my personal projects just by going through the documentations and the github issues. If you can go to um, Nest.js github official github by click on this icon right here and check out their issues, check out their pull requests. Um, the community is great. It's not that big but it's great. Uh, Nest.js does come with a CLI and to be honest Nest CLI is not that great yet it's nothing like Angular CLI however it does support some basic scaffolding uh, some basic code generation um, uh, boilerplate generation so I think it's better than nothing uh, go ahead and install the CLI by using this command I'm gonna copy and open my terminal, paste, let it run. Uh, Nest documentation also has a section on CLI so uh, please go ahead and read up on it. This is the command to create a new Nest application. We're going to use that in a bit. Oops. Alright, so um, just cd into your favorite code uh, directory and make a directory. I'm gonna call it nest mean. This series aims towards the backend, heavily on the backend, but it is the main stack series, so we're gonna we're gonna touch on the front end as well. So I would love to have a root a root directory. And inside that root directory, I have a client directory and a server directory. Uh, the client houses my Angular application and the server houses the Nest application. Um, and you can call the root directory whatever you want. I call it Nest mean. And uh, cd into that directory. Then I'm going to run that uh, create new application command. I say Nest new and I call it server. It's going to ask you a couple of questions. So, as mean server version uh, author, you can put your name there, and I use npm. It's going to take a while, so I'll be back. All right, so the generation has finished. Um, I use VS Code for this series, but feel free to use anything that you like. Uh, so, I'm open my uh, directory with VS Code. Before I do anything though, I'm gonna change my font size. Oh, 14 is good. I think 14 is okay. Um, now let's look at the server that Nest has generated for me. And if you haven't noticed already, Nest uses TypeScript. You can build Nest application with um, JavaScript but by default it is using TypeScript so it has a tsconfig.json and a tslint.json you can put any rules you like in the 
test lane. Um, but for the test config, I don't think that you should have to touch it, if at all. Uh, by looking at the source, uh, the source folder is where all your code is going to be, and it looks extremely familiar with an Angular application. It has a module, it has a service, and it has a controller instead of a component. Um, also, it has dependency injections right here. It has a man.ts to bootstrap your app module. It also has a man.hmr.ts. Uh, HMR stands for Hot Module Reload. Uh, I'm not going to use uh, Hot Module Reload, which uses Webpack in the series. Uh, there's a Hot Module Reload on, on a website. Uh, on NASJS website in the documentation so uh, feel free to read up on that if you want to use hot module reload and but for the sake of it I'm gonna copy uh, this li these lines over to the man.ts I'm gonna put it there and I'm gonna copy this line over and I'm gonna delete the uh, hmr.ts file and also I'm gonna change it back to TS and again I'm not gonna use webpack but I'm gonna change it and stuff for anyone if you would like to use webpack uh, I just wanna mention this that NestJS does encourage and utilize quite heavily the separation of concern principle um, so as you can see in the controller, in the app controller, it injects app cervix and it's going to use the uh, uh, the return value of the root method on the app cervix as the value for this root. So the logic has been abstracted to the app cervix instead of putting everything on the app controller. And just another FYI. You can build your normal Node.js application with the same approach with just Node.js. But Nest brings a TypeScript and an Angular-ish approach to the table. So I like that because I am a fan of Angular. Now I would like to clean up my package.json a little bit and I'll be back. And I'm back. All I did was uh, I removed uh, all the carrots from my dependencies. I also specified the latest versions for all of the dependencies. I removed the fastify from body package because we're not going to use fastify. And I rerun npm install. Now to start our backend, open your terminal and cd into the server directory or whatever the directory your uh, nest application is in you can do npm start but nest.js CLI does generate a script uh, star dev and it uses nomon it also has a nomon.json so uh, that's what we're gonna use so npm run star dev so json will execute this command right here which looks exactly like the start script command um, and the default port is 3000 so if you go to your uh, browser and go to localhost 3000 you will get hello world the reason why you see the string hello world in the browser is because this class app controller runs um, this class has been decorated with the controller decorator uh, as you can see this controller takes in a string uh, to specify the path so this empty argument is equivalent to this empty string so the whole thing is localhost 3000 slash so if I put in uh, root root this will become slash root and if you haven't guessed already now if I go to localhost 3000 I, and I hit refresh I didn't get anything because 
the application doesn't know what uh, localhost 3000 slash is but it does know uh, localhost 3000 root so you get hello world and you can check um, in the logs as well the previous doesn't have the root but the current one has the root same thing with the uh, with this method which is actually would actually returns the string hello world and it has been decorated with the get decorator same thing it would take in a string as a path so I can put in hello um, the whole thing is basically routed up get uh, and then hello so if you hit 3000 hello uh, I mean root hello this method will be called so I'm gonna save and you can check the logs that uh, the get operation operation has been mapped to this route hello and if I refresh I doesn't get I don't get anything and if I go to hello then I get hello world so the flow here is uh, as is mentioned earlier Nest.js uses dependency injection so the logic to re return a string hello world actually comes from this root method on app cervix so if I go to root I will see return hello world now if I change this to Nest.js and save I go back to my browser and refresh I will get hello Nest.js and uh, you can return like anything I would put any and I return a an object that has success of 200 and the data would be hello hello nest js oops and I also have to change if I save this I also have to change this one to any save and now if I go to the browser and hit refresh now I get the JSON if, and if you are familiar with angular you would probably uh, figure out how the whole thing works so you have the app module uh, this class just a class and it has been decorated with the module decorator and it has an imports array uh, a controllers array that takes in all the controllers this equivalent to the declaration arrays uh, in angular and then providers that takes in all the injectables and our app cervix does have injectable so injectable means that you can actually inject other injectables or uh, other services into the uh, constructor other providers into the constructor then in the man ts you're gonna take that app module and you, you put in as an argument for the create method from nest factory this will return an i nest application and it's just a wrapper around the express application so this app you can just use use it like app.use just like express and finally you listen uh, you call the listen method and pass in the port number and everything will be bootstrap when you call bootstrap so that's how the nest application works so it is okay to run and develop nest application using nomon but i would like to actually run and debug nest application using vs code so I'm going to show you how to set up a run configuration to uh, to run and debug your Nest application using uh, VS Code. Go ahead and go to your debug window and add a configuration. We're going to use the Node.js launch v npm. Uh, I'm going to change this to Nest.js. Uh, you can use whatever you want to. Uh, the script is going to be start dev. It is the same script that we use to run our Nest application from the terminal. 
and the port is uh, 5000 uh, you can use whatever port you would like this port number uh, specifies the port to attach the debugger to so use anything but it has to be different than the port you use to uh, actually run the app on and one important thing is the current working directory right now the launch.json stays on the root directory so the workspace folder is actually uh, the root directory but we need to access to the script the star dev script from package.json inside of the server directory so we have to add slash server and we should be good to go um, inside no mo no mon.json um, remember to add that's that's inspect equals 5000 so so the inspect flag means run no JS with the debugger and this number is the port number that you specify in your launch.json so remember to add this flag or else it won't work now if you close this and if I go to app controller I'm gonna add a breakpoint here and now just run from the debug window the app will run but it's disconnect because oh I forgot to stop this one so again alright so now our app is running go ahead and go back to your browser and refresh you will be taken back to the, uh, the breakpoint so now you can step over uh, step into like a any debugger I would like to step into this breakpoint this method so it takes me to the app cervix and if I step over this it will say return value here and it is really nice right right so now you can run and debug your nest application from VS code so really nice this concludes my part one on this series uh, in the next video we're gonna start implementing a share module uh, the concept is the same as uh, share module in angular where you um, imports and exports all the providers that you would like to use throughout your application uh, for example uh, the configuration cervix we're going to use a configuration cervix to retrieve the application variables just like um, a mongodb connection string or a json web token secret key um, etc numbers numbers of uh, variables that you can use uh, you want to use throughout your applications and also I want to implement a mapper if you worked with C sharp you would probably heard or know of auto mapper um, so we're going to implement that auto mapper in our application using the package auto mapper dot auto mapper dash ts so bye bye and see you in the next video